Hi everyone, welcome and welcome back to Soulmates Twin Flames Tarot. Before we get into the reading today, we are taking a moment as we ask to call upon all angels, guardians, ancestors, and the universe to protect this channel and all who join this community. Any negative energy that may try to enter this space, we ask that you send it back to them. Amen. And so it is. This is a general love reading for the collective. Not all of the messages that come through may apply to everyone. So please only take in from this reading what speaks to your soul and what resonates for you and your situation. And release the rest to the universe. What does the universe want to reveal for this reading today, please? What do we need to know? I hate that I made you cry. And yes, your person does hate that they made you cry. And they do feel a lot of guilt for that. And perhaps for some of you, your person made you cry a lot because of their words that were hurtful, because of their actions and behaviors that were low vibration, because they weren't willing or ready to accept this relationship. But your person is really feeling this at the moment. This tells us though that they are growing up because they're taking the responsibility that they need to take for making you cry, for creating the problems, for creating arguments that were unnecessary, as well as all that other stuff that happened between the two of you, drama, conflict, chaos, confusion, all of those things that made you cry, your person has a lot of guilt and regret for and they don't want to do it again. This is why they are taking their time to figure themselves out so that when they show up again for you, all of this stuff, they'll be able to explain it. And they will explain it in great detail so you can understand from them that their actions and behaviors were nothing to do with you, that it wasn't anything that you created or anything that you did, but that it was something within them that was broken, that they needed to fix, that they needed to heal. And that's not something that you can do. This is something that they have to do on their own. In these kind of connections, there is part of this journey where you are together, and then there is part of this journey where you are solo by yourselves because you have to grow on your individual journeys before you can come into union and continue together. This is what they're doing right now because they want to make sure that they don't create any more problems of this magnitude. I'm not saying the relationship between the two of you moving forward is going to be perfect. No relationship is. But they're not going to act out to the extent that they have acted out with you in the past. That is going to be so different. Your person wants to apologize for hurting you for making you cry, and for creating so much confusion and so much hurt in you. Let's see what else we need to know for this reading today, please. What does the universe want to reveal? I'm changing my behaviors that cause this problems. Well, yes, good. They're changing the behaviors that made you cry. They're getting rid of all of that childish stuff. All of that immaturity that created so much conflict, chaos, and confusion here between you, that is going to be a thing of the past. But again, your person is acknowledging that their actions, their behaviors, their mistakes are what created the problems between you and that they need to change these behaviors to make sure that it never happens again, not in this way. You will have conflicts and you will have to learn how to communicate better and make better compromises with one another. But that will be the actions with your person moving forward. No more blowing things out of proportion. No more making mountains out of molehills. Just the two of you working together as a couple to work through your problems together. Not creating problems and then blowing it all up because of their immaturity, or their self-sabotaging behaviors. Let's see what else the universe wants to reveal for this reading today, please. I just want to reconnect with you. Yes, your person does want to reunite. 
it's not just about reconnecting and hanging out and spending time together. What your person truly wants here is to reunite with you. They want to give this connection with you the chance to start over where their behaviors, their negative behaviors, their childish, impulsive, immature behaviors will no longer create the problems that they created in the past. They want to reconnect with you and rekindle this relationship from a place where they have gained greater emotional maturity and stability, where they're able to be a better partner who can meet you halfway and give you the kind of relationship that you're looking for because they are really feeling this heavy weight of making you cry. They know they have to change these behaviors that cause the problems. And they do want to reconnect with you and spend time with you. But more importantly, this is about them wanting to reconcile with you, but more so have a fresh start with you. Let's see what else we need to know for this reading today, please. What does the universe want to reveal? Please don't pull away from me. I feel it when you do. Now, this is interesting because... The connection between you and your person, even though you have been in separation, and for some of you as well, you are in no contact with your person, perhaps they're running, perhaps they're ghosting, perhaps for some of you, you are even blocked. Childish behavior, immature behavior, that blocking stuff. But the point is, even though there's no communication right now, even though the two of you aren't spending time together, they can still feel your energy just like you can still feel theirs because that flow of your energy is in constant motion with each other even during the time that you're away from one another like right now for most of you and they can feel you when you pull away from them just a subtle detachment of your energy because you're focused on something else or perhaps for some of you maybe you are entertaining going out with someone else and that is perfectly fine because you have your own free will to decide what you want to do for your life but your person here is saying they can feel it when you pull away from them because they can feel your energy and they feel your essence all the time, just like you feel theirs. Let's see what else we need to know for this reading today, please. What does the universe want to reveal about this person? It makes me sick to think of you with someone else. Well then, they need to do something about it. Interesting that that came up. Right after we talked about that, if you wanted to entertain going out with someone else, that was a choice and free will choice that you could make for you. But your person doesn't want to think of you as someone else. And perhaps if they are, this is going to light the fire beneath them that needs to happen to get them moving here to where they will pick up the phone and start reconnecting with you. Your person does not like thinking about you being with someone else. Just like you don't like the thought of them, perhaps, considering or being with someone else. Which tells us that the two of you truly belong together because you do have this strong connection, of course. But your person does not want to think of you. They don't want to experience losing you, not in this way, because that's going to make them really go over the edge here. But sometimes a little bit of fear can make them take action. So if they're thinking about you being with someone else or wondering or feeling or fearing that you could be with someone else, that can be the very thing that causes them to wake up and get moving. Now we're not suggesting that you deliberately try to make them jealous or anything like that because that is what childish immature behavior if you're wanting to go out with someone because you want to experience this person or perhaps have a friendship or well situationship with them that is something that you can do for your own free will but as long as you are not doing it to create some sort of shift or change in the dynamic with your person as long as you are doing it for you to make you happy to make you feel better about yourself and about your life okay so let's see what else we need to know for this reading today please what does the universe want to reveal i wish i didn't have to learn lessons the hard way well 
Yes. Unfortunately, for most of you out there, this person is having to learn lessons the hard way. And that is very often the situation with these kind of connections because they're resistant to change. And that resistance to change is again immature behavior because they're not ready to embrace the magnitude of this connection and what it means. And when your person met you, they knew that something in their life was going to change. They knew that something in their life was going to be forever different, but they, they weren't ready to embrace those changes yet. But when the universe knocks on your door and says it's time to change, you have to change and you can either do it the easy way by accepting that growth and going through it the way that you need to, which for most of you, your person did not do, or the universe will drag you kicking and screaming all the way through these lessons until you do learn them. For most of you watching this reading, your person has chosen option two, but they are learning it because this reading started with them saying, I hate that I made you cry. I'm changing my behaviors. So there is an acknowledgement here in your person that they are growing and changing and evolving, not as quickly as you, because everyone changes at their own speed, but they are doing it. Let's see what else the universe wants to reveal for this reading today, please. I was confused about what I wanted, but I see clearly now. Yes, your person has awakened here. These, li these life lessons have certainly awakened them because they can see clearly. And your person has had a breakthrough. They get it now. They see it now. This is why they're changing their behaviors. This is why they hate that they made you cry. This is why they're saying here, I want to reconnect with you. They see the reality of everything. They see the truth. What does the universe want to reveal for this? Whoops, too many cards, too many cards, too many cards. I hate it when that happens, guys. Sorry, my hands are cold in this air conditioning. Let's see what else we need to know for this reading today, please. What does the universe want to reveal? You put your trust in me and I failed you. Yes, your person is acknowledging here that they let you down in probably more than one way. They let you down completely by running, by ghosting, by making you cry, by creating these problems, by denying this connection, and by creating a lot of unnecessary arguments, unnecessary drama, chaos, conflict, confusion, making you not know whether you were coming or going because you were having to read between the lines and try to figure out what is happening here between you and them, but your person wants to do what it takes to rebuild your trust in them. They want to show you that you can trust them and depend on them because they want to reconnect and they want to start over with you. So let's see what else we need to know about this reading today, please. Let's see what the universe wants to reveal about this person and this connection. This is the eight of coins, the eight of pentacles, which is interesting because this card here says, I wish I didn't have to learn lessons the hard way. And that is exactly what this is about, learning life lessons, because the eight of coins is the card of the apprentice, the student, someone who is learning. And your person is definitely learning here. They're getting it one way or another they may be having to do it the hard way but like we mentioned when the universe said it's time to wake up and it's time to change you're going to have to do it or they will drag you through it so one way or another your person is getting this healthy dose of life lessons and well schooling that they need and then as the two of you together are together you can work on your relationship skills with each other so you can be better communicators so you can learn how to make more compromises with each other and that will be part of rebuilding with one another what else does the universe want to reveal for this reading today, please? What does the collective need to know? What does the universe want to tell us about this person? 
Well, this is the emperor. The emperor is someone who is decisive and someone who takes action. The emperor is ruled by Aries. So this tells us that you or your person, so if you or your person have your sun, moon, or rising in Aries, this can serve as a place of validation that there is a message in this reading for you, but you don't have to be an Aries for this re reading to work or resonate for you. Now the emperor is someone who takes action. They are decisive, and we say that because Aries never sits still. Aries is fire, and fire moves, and when it starts to move, it moves quickly. So this tells us that your person is about to get off this throne here and start taking action with you. The emperor always has a plan and they have spent considerable time formulating that plan, but then they are ready to execute that plan. And that is very much what is going on here with your person as they have thought through what they're going to do to reconnect with you, those steps that they need to take to finish working through their stuff here, because this person does want to represent themselves to you as a possible romantic partner if you are willing to take them back. Let's see what else we need to know for this reading today, please. What does the universe want to reveal? What does the collective need to know? This is the sun. The sun is a powerful card, guys. It's one of the best cards in the deck because it tells us that there's reason to be hopeful and optimistic about the situation with your person, regardless of what your current dynamic is with them because things in the universe are constantly changing. The sun comes out and shines again after all of the storms that we've been through, after the tornadoes, after the thunderstorms, after the hurricanes, the sun comes out and brings its healing light. So what this is also saying is after this period of disconnect, separation, running and ghosting that you are currently experiencing with your person, the sun says there is still reason for you to be hopeful and optimistic that the situation with this person can change because the sun is about balance, harmony, abundance, success, peace, joy, and stability in this relationship with your person being restored. Let's see what else the universe wants to reveal for this reading today, please. What does the universe want to reveal about this person? What does the collective need to know? Well, this is the seven of wands, more fire energy. Okay, we have a lot of fire here today, guys, because the sun is really about fire, obviously, since it's a ball of fire that sits out in space. But this seven of wands is about kind of like your person getting ready to stand up and take action, which makes sense that it would show up across from the emperor today. This is about your person fighting the good fight. This is about them getting on the offensive. And by that, I mean someone who is not defending themselves or being defensive, but someone who is going out and will come out of this cave that's here in the bottom of this card, they will come out fighting for you. They want to show you they've changed. They want to show you they can be the partner you need them to be. They want to show you that they have so much regret and remorse for making you cry and for hurting you. They also want to show you that they can be the partner that you need them to be because they want to make amends for failing you, for hurting you, and for not doing the things that they needed to do in this connection with you in the past, because this is one of the lessons that they have been learning during this time of separation. Let's see what else we need to know for this reading today, please. What does the universe want to reveal about this person? Well, this is the six of coins. This is the Six of Pentacles. Now, this is about balance, obviously, because we have three coins over here, two coins over here, which would make this relationship like this. Perhaps you were doing all of the heavy lifting in this relationship with your person in the past. This is about them wanting to take back 
ownership of doing things for you in ways they never had because they don't want to fail you again right they don't want to fail you they this card also tells us that they see you as a blessing they see you as a gift from the universe and they see you as someone that they want to devote their time energy and love to towards rebuilding this relationship with you this sun card is a card that is all about coming into the light i was confused but i see clearly now because your person has had that light come on in their head and in their heart basically saying what the hell have you been doing it's time to start taking action and start making things happen which is the energy of this emperor card moving getting things moving getting things unstuck and then coming towards you with the energy of this seven of wands which is someone who will fight for this relationship who will put forth the effort and energy required to win you back to show you that they're willing to do what it takes to rebuild your trust and your respect in them because that's what they want to do and that is what they need to do and honestly that is what you need them to do as well because then you will feel validated you will feel loved because this is about them pursuing you and doing what it takes to win you back let's see what else we need to know for this reading today please what does the collective need to know about this person <laughs> balance here it is again right so this is about equal give and take restoring balance into this connection but i feel as well this is your person needing to find that balance within themselves when someone has emotional immaturity and other kinds of emotional issues it does create this out of balance situation in their psyche perhaps and they are restoring that balance within themselves right now that they need and as they return to you you will see that they are more balanced in their approach to you so for example if your person got angry over nothing in the past and created a big huge argument which is what this means here I'm changing my behaviors that caused this problems in the past because they're more balanced now that will no longer be an issue they won't fly off the handle for no reason they'll approach this with more compromises and better communication this is about being balanced within themselves but also in this connection equal give and take the two of you working together to rebuild Let's see what else the universe wants to reveal for this reading today, please. What does the collective need to know about this person, about this connection? What's happening here, please? Whale song resonating. Now, this card means a couple of things here. Now, it does tell us that your person misses you. This comes with number 61, if anyone resonates with that number. Whale song is very much that song the whale sings when it's out in the ocean crying for its mate, crying for its partner, and calling out to them. And that is very much the energy of someone who is longing and yearning. And the energy of your person is someone who is longing and yearning for you. Because they say here, I want to reconnect with you. Please don't pull away from me. I feel it when you do. That will create a longing and yearning within them. This is why they're also saying here, I, it makes me sick to think of you as someone else. Again, that creates this longing and yearning within them. But through missing you, Yes, it's hard for them and it's hard for you as well. But through missing you, that will cause this call to action with this emperor card being here to start following that plan and executing those steps to start rebuilding and start making their way back to you. The whale song as well is about the universe, sending your person signs and synchronicities that are awakening them to not this connection or to this love or who you are because they definitely have an awareness of that at this moment 
But I feel the universe is working with your person in terms of like trying to get them moving, trying to get them moving forward and reaching out to you and communicating with you and doing what it takes by finding the energy of this emperor and this seven of wands to be proactive and start opening those lines of communication so the two of you can talk and start putting a plan together to reconnect with each other so that you can build this relationship from this balanced, happy, joyful, prosperous, fulfilling place that comes with the sun. Let's see what else we need to know for this reading today, please. What does the universe want to reveal about this person and this connection? Aspen spirit, courage, that comes with number three. And that's just interesting because in the tarot, the empress, that is the counterpart to the emperor, is number three. But this is about your person finding that courage. And this seven of wands is very much a card of courage. A card of your person taking action. Does the emperor lack courage? Oh, no, absolutely not. The emperor is very confident. The emperor has courage. And this is the energy that your person is embracing here so that they can reconnect with you. But the point with this Emperor card and being the Divine Masculine, it is about your person embracing the energy of the Divine Masculine. And what is the Divine Masculine? They're decisive. They take action. They make a plan. They make decisions. They initiate communication. So whether your person is a divine masculine or divine feminine, they are finding that DM energy within them to reach out to you and do what it takes. Because this emperor is someone who is not going to sit around much longer. And yes, we realize your person has been sitting around for a while and not doing anything to take action here in regard to this situation, but that is about to change. Aries is on the move, and Aries is all about action, getting things moving, getting things unstuck, especially because it's meeting up with Uranus which is the planet of unexpected things. And that is happening like over these next months here. That is happening. So if you are feeling this energy coming at you from your person, it is because they are really on the edge here about putting this plan in place and following through with it. And you're going to feel that from them because you can still feel and experience them energetically, telepathically, just like they can you. So this energy can be really intense, guys. So when you're feeling that intense energy, try to just step away from it and ask yourself, okay, is this me or is this my person? What is going on here? Why am I feeling this intense energy? Because as things start to heat up here with this conjunction of Mars and Uranus, you are going to be feeling that energy just boom, 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 coming at you really strongly, okay? But it is the hope that that planetary conjunction between Uranus and Mars will get your person to take action here. So let's see what else the universe wants to reveal for this reading today, please. What does the collective need to know about this person and this connection? Pride. Arrogance, ego, and stubborn. <laughs> well, yes, that is probably part of the issue here with your person. And sometimes the emperor energy can be egocentric, especially if your person has been very prideful. But what this reading suggests is that your person is working through this stuff because they have to release their pride their arrogance and their ego and their stubbornness because I wish I didn't have to learn lessons the hard way. They're having to learn those lessons. And part of those lessons is releasing their pride, ego, and arrogance. So they will make that happen. 
So let's see what else the universe wants to reveal for this reading today, please. What does the collective need to know about this person? Confessions, unveiling, coming clean, and messages. Bingo. That is exactly what needs to happen here. That coming clean. All of those confessions. And they have confessed here already. I hate that I made you cry. I'm changing my behaviors that cause problems. Please don't pull away from me. I'm learning lessons the hard way, but I'm actually learning them. I was confused, but I see clearly now. Absolutely. They are getting it. They are having that breakthrough that they need. And again, messages. This is about messages coming from your person, explaining things to you. But I do feel that this is message is more about so you can meet in person and so they can talk to you and apologize in person and confess all of this stuff to you, to your face, because that is truly where it needs to happen. Face-to-face -face communication at this point especially after so long of a period of separation, no contact is necessary with this person. Let's see what else we need to know for this reading today, please. What does the universe want to reveal? What does the collective need to know? Intuition. See, that comes back to that. Please don't pull away from me. Heart song, telepathy, and inner knowing. And yes, you do have this telepathy and inner knowing with this person. You can feel and experience each other all the time. That is that flow of energy that is in constant motion between you and this person. Just like, and they can feel it too. They feel that just as much as you do. But this heart song, I do feel that this is more about your person being able to really feel and experience the love that you feel for them even though they're not around you they feel it they get it they acknowledge it they have awakened to it because they are definitely more in the light now than they ever were before they have had this moment of clarity and that truth has stayed with them there is no more confusion around your person about you or this connection Let's see what else we need to know for this reading today, please. What does the collective need to know about this person? Let's see. We have perspective, better off, happiness, clear headspace. Okay. And this comes back to this, I was confused about what I wanted, but I see clearly now. They're seeing things from a clearer perspective. They're better off now. They get it. They understand. They have a clearer headspace. They have this sense of breakthrough and understanding. But they also understand that their true happiness lies with you, not by being without you, not by being alone, because they're able to see things more clearly now than they ever have before. And that is what is happening. Your person, as they represent themselves to you, they will explain to you that they don't like their life without you. Will you give me this opportunity to reconcile with you? Will you give me an opportunity to start over? I've always seen you as a gift. You are a blessing in my life. I really made so many mistakes and I'm so sorry it's taken me so long to get my act together. But I see it now. I get it now. I understand it now. Please don't let me be without you because your person is saying these things and it's what they want to express to you. Depth, awareness, importance, and value. And this is very much about your person seeing how important you are in their life. That's what we were just talking about. But they also have a greater awareness now than they've ever had before that you are the one for them. It's this clear perspective. It's this breakthrough and epiphany that this person has had because they are able to see things now with much greater clarity than they ever have before. Let's see what else the universe wants to reveal for this reading today, please. What does the universe want to reveal about this person and this connection? fantasy, imagining, daydreaming, fantasizing. Well, yes, because your person does spend quite a bit of time thinking about you, 
reflecting on you, wondering what a future with you could possibly look like for them. And this is truly something that they envision for themselves with you. And while they weren't ready for this with you before, they are definitely doing what it takes to get themselves ready for this now because they don't want to be without you again. Remember that whale song card. This is about your person longing for you. It is about them missing you and wanting to do what it takes to rebuild this relationship with you. They know the two of you share something very unique and very special that they have never experienced with anyone before. And yes, they have made a lot of mistakes. They've screwed a lot of things up here between the two of you, but they know it. They also understand why they did it. Now, that is the missing piece that you may not have. You may not know why they have acted and behaved the way they did, why they created so much chaos, conflict, and confusion, why there was so much drama, why they hadn't released stuff from the past that has been holding them back from this connection. But your person wants to confess all of this to you and come clean and reveal all of it to you. They want to be truthful. They want to be honest because they want you to know why they have done this. They want you to understand that it's nothing that you did or nothing that you created, that it wasn't your fault, that it was something within them that needed to be reflected back to them, which is what you did. You reflected back to them the things within them that needed work, that dark shadow side of themselves that they had to address. And doing that kind of work is a lot of work. This is why your person has been learning lessons the hard way. Then that card is buried under here somewhere. But I'm not going to move them because it's all neat and organized at the moment. But the point is, yes, your person is doing what they need to do. They are learning lessons the hard way. The bottom line is they're learning them. And they are learning them at the speed that they can. All right, so let's see what else the universe wants to reveal for this reading today, please. What do we need to know about this person? True love. This is the romance of a lifetime. Yes, it is. And your person knows that this is true love. Just like you've always known it, your person has always known it as well. You've both known it. It's just that your person wasn't ready, perhaps, to acknowledge it to admit it, to talk about it, to share their love with you. But that is going to be so different because this is also about restoring balance to this relationship. Let's see what else we need to know for this reading today, please. What does the collective need to know? What does the universe want to reveal? Heart to heart conversations. Honestly discuss your feelings with each other. Honestly, there is truth here somewhere. Coming clean, confessions, being honest, being truthful. Yes, this is about heart to heart conversations and your person being truthful, being real with you. And you will see an honesty and integrity in this person that perhaps you have not seen before because they're not going to want to hurt you again. They hate that they made you cry. They do not want to hurt you again in this way. And that is why they are taking this time to make sure that they never hurt you in the way that they've hurt you during this separation and what happened immediately before this separation ever again. It won't be perfect, but they will never create this drama, this damage, this dysfunction, and perhaps even toxicity for some of you. You went through that with your person. You will never have to go through that again with them because they are making sure that they are ready for this love. See what else we need to know. What does the universe want to reveal about this person? What does the collective need to know, please? Trust. Boy, that came up earlier, didn't it? This situation is calling for you to have faith. Yes. And your person says here, 
you put your trust in me and I failed you. And we mentioned, we talked about this and said that your person will be willing to do the work to rebuild your trust and your faith in them, no matter what it takes, no matter how hard they have to work, no matter what they have to do, because they want to make sure that you can trust them and have faith in them. But this also says here, this situation is calling for you to have faith. This is about you having faith in this connection and in your person and in what you feel within yourself. Do you believe your person can change? Do you have faith that they can make it happen? Do you believe that the universe can bring a miracle into your life? Do you have faith that the universe can work their magic to cause your person to evolve and change and grow into this person that you need them to become? That is a question that only you can answer. But I will say this, we have seen it happen for many people out there. Their person will change. They will grow. They will become the person they need to be the person you need them to be because they don't want to risk losing this connection ever again. And they certainly don't want to think about you being with someone else. So they know that it's time for action. They know that it's time to get grooving here and move along and start stirring things up to make things happen. But that is the energy of this reading. There's a lot of fire in this reading and fire does not sit, sit still. Fire moves and it moves quickly. And this Emperor card is all about Aries and Mars and that is about movement. And so is this Seven of Wands. That is someone who will show up for you and do what it takes to fight for you and for this love. And my goodness, make sure that all of your faith and trust in them is restored. And they want to earn that back. They want to win you back. Let them do it. They need to show you, not just tell you that they've changed. They need to earn you back through their words and through their actions. But this reading tells us that that is what they will do. Because your person does not want to move forward without you. They know the two of you have something special and they're willing to do the work, whatever it takes to gain your trust, your respect, and your faith in them again. This is your reading for today, everyone. Thank you all so much for watching and allowing us to share your journey. If you enjoyed this reading, please take a moment to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. We appreciate all of you so very much. Blessings of peace, love, and light to everyone watching. Have a great day, everyone.